Hey y'all, my name is Christine, and for those of you that don't know me, I started with Teen Potsy Productions in 2011, and I made weeklies for a while. Today I'm subbing for Jessica, as well as making this video for a public speaking assignment. I'm 19 and I'm a freshman in college, I'm taking 15 credit hours, and I live in the dorms. Today I'm going to give you my five tips for people with POTS who are going to be attending college or are currently attending college. Number one, know your limits. Know your limits about how often and when you can go out and about how many credit hours you can take. Don't push yourself. Don't go out on a Thursday night and expect to be able to get up for an early morning class on Friday. Mornings are hard enough on us anyway. Set realistic expectations for when and how long you go out. Know your limits for credit hours. I'm currently handling 15 credit hours fairly well, but I've talked to some potsies who can only handle 9 credit hours per semester. Learn from each semester, and if one semester is too much, make adjustments. Or if a semester is good, keep doing what you're doing. Knowing your limits is an ongoing process. Your health can change from day to day, but you know yourself best. Number two, have a single room and bathroom if possible. Coming to college can be hard, and living in our own can be really hard with POTS. But if you request a single room, I think that would be very helpful. I currently have a single room, and I think it's great because I can keep the temperature how I want, I can adjust the lighting how I need, and I can sleep or study whenever is best for me. If I need a nap, I can take it without an interruption. Or if I'm wide awake at 5 a.m. because my nervous system is going haywire, I can study. Also, if possible, request a bathroom. I have a community bathroom where I live, and sometimes the steam from other showers makes my blood pressure drop. Number three, have a planner. My planner is my lifesaver. I write down every assignment because with my brain fog, I often forget. I also suggest planning nap time into your schedule because according to Dinet.org and my doctor, rest is extremely important for POTS patients. Also, plan when you're gonna be studying. Number four, eat right. As tempting as it is to get that greasy cheese pizza or go have a Coke before class, don't do it. Eat protein and avoid caffeine as it can exacerbate our symptoms. Although it can be hard to find healthy food at school, work as hard as you can to get good food in you before classes and tests especially. Also, staying hydrated is included in this. Being dehydrated is one of the worst things we can do, according to Dinette.org. Potsy should avoid being dehydrated and avoid caffeine and energy drinks. Number five, make friends and have fun. For those of you who are worried about people accepting you in college, Know that for me and many other potsies that I've talked to, find that it's easier. When you get sick, all of your hometown friends can't wrap their minds around it. You used to be healthy. Now you're sick and it's not going away. They don't understand the term chronic illness. They don't understand the changes you've had to make. But when you go to college, that's all these people know. I'm chronically ill. All my friends know it. I even have a handicap placard that I use on a daily basis, but it doesn't make them blink. It's just who I am. I felt so much more accepted here than in my own town. College is also not just about school. And even though we have so many more responsibilities than normal college students, we still need to get involved and have fun. Personally, I'm in a sorority and it's wonderful. I found a group of girls who really accept who I am. I'm also a public relations officer of my dorm complex. But don't feel bad if you can't get involved. Don't feel bad if you can't go out to the clubs. Just have movie nights in your room with friends. Just hang out. In conclusion, my list of advice for potsies who are going off to college include 1. Know your limits. 2. Have a single room and single bathroom. 3. Have a planner. 4. Eat healthy. And 5. Make friends and have fun. Thanks for watching and I'll try to make another guest video soon. I love y'all and I hope everyone's feeling healthy.